Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 31, 2020, last day of the year. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound, US dollar, yen, euro, US dollar, Aussie dollar, US dollar, and US dollar, Canadian dollar. And if you'd like to support this channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. So let's look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly today. We actually are have been trading at a we haven't been trading this high since back in 2018. So the US dollar just keeps collapsing. Bitcoin just keeps rallying. And um, well, every other currency that is, uh, um, for example, the Great British Pound, US dollar, Euro US dollar, just continue um, appreciating. And at this point, we are running into some resistant here. We have tested this level twice earlier before last week and uh, Two weeks ago and uh, at this point i think that we're just gonna see a, a minor pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average and then we continue higher we are on the edge of being overbought uh, other indicators for example are still fairly bullish macd is bullish C the rsi is bullish the cci is bullish and um, we are not really at the top of the bollinger bands so last time we broke down we basically got outside of the Bollinger Band both here and here and then broke down uh, towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band and then to the uh, to the mid-range of the Bollinger Band. At this point, there is still some room to the upside. We're at the top of the Bollinger Band is at 13, 60, 65, so there is some room to the upside. But I think that if we get there, then it will certainly fall back towards the 20 exponential, which would be roughly at 13, uh, 49. So... No interest in basically shorting this. Every pullback at this point is a buying opportunity. However, uh, keep an eye out for the US dollar index. The US dollar has fallen quite significantly. It's fairly overstretched at the moment. And um, rally in the US dollar index is um, expected at any point. And um, then this will basically fall. So US dollar, yen. As you can see, we fell quite significantly fell all the way to 102, 960, and then rallied a little bit again. At this point, I think that we are going to continue lower. We may rally up towards the 20 exponential moving average, that is right here. And if we do, then just short this because we are in a downtrend. Every time we get close to the upper um, uh, resistance line, it is basically a sell. Every time we get to the lower support line, it is basically a buy. And every time we basically get close to the 50 or the 20 exponential moving average, it is also a selling opportunity. And at this point, I think we are, well, we could rally a little bit. I would be surprised if that were the case. Um, I would expect this to basically fall towards the uh, lower support line here, similar to this, and then rally to the upside. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. However, there are signs that we may have a pullback, but just keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. If we pull back towards the 20 exponential, then that is basically a selling opportunity. We are oversold at this point, and we basically hit the bottom of the bullion band. This doesn't mean that we could not hit it again in tomorrow's session and so on. That is possible, but pullbacks at this point are selling opportunities. So Euro, US dollar, similar to the Great British Pound and the US dollar, this has also rallied. We are trading, um, well, last time we were this high was back in 2018. So, so two years ago, uh, we've been this high in this currency pair. So every pullback towards the 20 exponential, as you can see, every time we get close to the 20 exponential, we basically rally. So at this point, we are fairly overstretched. We need basically a, a breakdown towards the 20 exponential. This will most likely happen when the US dollar starts appreciating. It will have a minor rally in the US dollar, and this will start depreciating again towards the 20 exponential. And that is basically your entry point for this market. So if you look at the technical indicators, they are still very bullish. We are on the edge of being overbought. 
we are crossing the signal line here in the in the Bollinger Band. So it is nearly a certainty that we will see a fall tomorrow session or on or on Friday's session. So let's look at uh, Aussie dollar, US dollar. This is very similar here. We are trading at uh, well, we haven't been this high since, but all the way back in 2018. Yes, very similar to the Great British Pound and the US dollar and the Euro US dollar. But we are fairly overstretched. We are significantly overbought at this point. Other indicators are very bullish. MACD, CCI, Stochastic are all very bullish. But we are hitting the top of this bullish band. It is almost, we could basically be shortest towards the 20 exponential. But to be on the safe side, I would rather see a pullback, something similar to this, and then enter. So this is a trade of roughly 2.4%. And that is a really good trade. So a pullback towards the 20, that's a fall of 1.4%. And that will at least take two or three trading days in order to get to that level. But at this point, pullback supports the 20 exponential moving average. That's basically your entry point. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We are, well, we are almost um, at our goal. So 1.26922 is basically the previous lows here i would expect some pullback if we break through this it is possible there's a lot of room to the downside we're only at 47.99 in the rsi technical indicators overall are looking dreadful however when we get to this low level here we all also reach the lower parts of the bullish band and usually you have a pullback when that happens at this point no interest basically of uh, of um buying this and this is going to drop towards this level here if we rally it will be a minor rally towards the 20 exponential moving average and then we'll break towards this level so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much